Students, now that we have read chapter 8, our clothes, let's do the textbook exercises. Take the correct answer. We wear dark colored clothes in the winter season. Which of the following is not a synthetic fiber? Silk. Twisting the fiber to make thread or yarn is called spinning. Once washed, white clothes should be soaked in indigo powder. Special treatment given to fabric can make it all of these that is waterproof, wrinkle free, fluffy. Fill in the blanks. We use naphthalene balls or neem leaves or you can write boric acid powder to protect woolen clothes. Wool is obtained from sheep. During the process of dyeing, cloth is given different colors. Artificial fibers are stronger than natural fibers. Synthetic fiber is made from crude oil. Match the following. Sheep, wool, cotton plant, cotton fiber, silkworm, cocoon, charkha, spinning, looms, weaving. True or false? We wear the same clothes in different seasons. False. Because we wear different clothes according to the different seasons. Light colored clothes do not absorb much heat. True. In deserts, people wear raincoats and gumboots. False. Because it is very hot in deserts and raincoats and gumboots are usually worn during the rainy season. Rose petals are used to protect silk clothes from insects. False. Dried neem leaves are used. Polyester clothes are made from synthetic fiber. True. Now let us do the question answers of chapter 8, our clothes. First we will do the short question answers. What kinds of clothes are worn in the summer season? We wear light colored, loose fitted, comfortable cotton clothes during summer season. Question 2. What are synthetic fibers? Answer. Synthetic fibers are man-made fibers which are obtained from crude oil. Example, nylon and rayon. Question 3. How should we store woolen clothes? Answer. We should store woolen clothes in safe dry places with dried neem leaves, naphthalene balls, or boric acid powder. They should be protected from insects and rats. Now let's do the detailed question answers. Question 1. How are clothes made? Answer. Clothes are made from natural as well as synthetic fibers. The steps involved are spinning, weaving, dyeing, printing and stitching. We will do question 3 first. What are looms? Why are they important? Answer. Looms are huge machines which are used for making fabric. In a loom, the thread or yarn is made into fabric by crisscrossing the long threads. Looms produce clothes on a large scale. We also have hand looms where the work is done by hand. The second question is make a web titled from fiber to fabric. Here children you have to show the entire process in which how fiber is changed into fabric. You will do this on the white page or the blank page of your EVS notebook. Fiber it can be either natural or synthetic. Then spinning, then weaving, then dyeing or printing and then Finally, it turns out into fabric. Write these question answers neatly in your EVS notebooks and learn them. Thank you, children.